is test pass number one. The timing's on 32 degrees, 28 inch slicks, nine pounds in the slicks. Uh, the car's stone cold currently. So by the time we get up there, it'll be about 160. And Drew's gonna film me taking off. We'll get some other time. I gotta get in the truck to shoot this video because they're playing music out there and y'all don't wanna hear that in the background. Uh, I went a 648 at 104.29. You'll see my AFR meter again here. Super rich, so, uh, I'm glad I actually have the data now to lean it out a little bit. Uh, probably go two in the front and two in the rear if I had to guess. I'll let Drew decide. I did. I ran it through the thousand foot. They don't have quarter mile in Arkansas, but I did run it through the thousand when I ate 38. Um, I treed that guy. I had no. I, I didn't even realize it was a pro tree. I'm used to a sportsman tree, so pro tree all night. That'll get me good and ready for Shane Polito. So here we go down. Let's keep pushing. I have, we're not going to touch timing yet, I don't think. 140, 160 foot's pretty good. I think I can get into the one. number two versus pass number one you can see my eighth mile mile per hour if i can there we go get those lined back up uh eighth mile mile per hour is up by two we like that uh 640 with a five i'm almost creeping into those 630s like i was once before 140 60 foot sure helps and that pass i went 10 pounds in my rear tires so I was looking for a little better 60 foot. I got it. Um, and that mile per hour shows that it really liked that carb change. I'm going to pull the spark, the brand new spark plug I just stuck in and see what it looks like as it matches up. If it matches up to my new AFR meter.
So back from the races, I want to give you a little breakdown of what happened. Um, they were running four or five classes that night. One of them was small tires, so the track was pretty well prepped. On my last pass, uh, I think the car, either one or one before me or two before me on in uh, one of those lanes, I probably the left lane, oiled the track down majorly. So they had to stop and clean that up. And they set some stuff on fire and all that. So in that last pass, you see me leave and the other 70 Cuda leave and his car just literally almost jumps the center line. I'm not sure if he was kind of was setting in oil or the right side spun and the left didn't. That's probably realistic. I mean, he's, he's ran that car a while now and that's the first time that's ever happened. So great driving on his part. Um, I had a great pass. But I still spun a little bit, and I can tell, let's look back in the video, I'm lined up just to the right of the groove a little. So as I as I take off, great launch, great 60 foot. Um, my right rear just gets a little out of the groove and it spins for a second. I can feel it in the car just barely bump sideways like that. Um, so I should be able to pick up a little time there. Um, slicks were back on 10 pounds. I didn't have a chance to try more air in them. They they may like more air, so I'll do that at Sykeston. This is these are the twenty eight inch slicks. So I ran those all night long because I was wanting to try to play with like the twenty eight ten five stuff. And I know there'll be cars at Sykeston at No Name Nationals that are faster than mine, but you don't actually have to have the fastest car to get second place. I know it's weird, but we do it on a chip draw. So if say there's sixteen cars, whatever. Number, the two number ones race each other, the two number twos. My first year, I drew Redbeard, and his car was going like 550s or something, so obviously I couldn't run with that. Um, but last year, I didn't get to run because my transmission gave up on me that morning. So I'm hoping, hey, for uh, let the fast cars, it's kind of luck of the draw. If, if a, uh, a fast car draws a different fast car early on, they'll be eliminated. So it, it's worth a gamble in my part. It's, we're going there to have fun. I did not get to try my nitrous this weekend. So it'll be kind of a mystery to everybody out there. What is the car going to do with nitrous? I've got a separate video of my nitrous fuel system stuff coming up and putting in my uh, simple nitrous maximizer. It, it's kind of an easy plug and play deal. So doing it go, goes with my fuel system. I'll do that stuff. Let's finish breaking down today's runs. And I wanted to show you also the final pass. We did swap distributor. So I now have my Firecore billet racing distributor in the car that I got from Mr. Rick at Firecore. So if you need some Firecore stuff, call Rick, mention Just Mopar Joe, you'll get your discount. Um, super great guy. So we swapped it in because the other one was, the timing was erratic in it. it. I'm not really sure why, but it was a ready to run deal. So that's gone. I'm now using my actual uh, ECU that's in the car. It's it's a fast ECU and it, it does give like 10 degrees of uh, timing retard for easier startup. So that'll help me some too. Uh, but we just, just went ahead and locked the distributor out for now and it was locked out 35 degrees total. So 35 degrees total, 10 pounds in the rear tires and had a good pass. So let's see what it picked up. Something else I wanted to show was how did the AFR change from 29 degrees to 35 degrees? So literally six degrees. What did it do to the tuning? I'm, on, I'm gonna put both those up for you. The 35 degree one will be on the right hand side of the screen versus the left side, so 29. So check that out also. So here are my three runs of the evening. Remember I went out, uh, carb was super fat. Uh, here we go, 648 at 104. Jetted it down, we went four in the rear down and two in the front. 
um, picked up, went to a 640 then at 106. So that's big, almost two mile per hour there. And then we did our timing change from 29 degrees on these two to 35 and went to 106.96, so almost 107. So that's almost a full mile per hour just with, just with the uh, timing change. And uh, basically half of a tenth, I mean, or five hundredths. So that's pretty nice. I still think that could have been a little bit more because my 60 foot, see how it did not improve from 140 to 140 in that right lane. Uh, by 3.30, you can tell it's starting to pick up, starting to pick up. And that second pass, I didn't actually get a thousand foot, but I think I ran it all the way through here. So thousand foot, I was at 117.77 and ran an 821. The announcer said I ran a 621 and I'm assuming that he was seeing the, the eight on the scoreboard or something as a six. I'm not sure, but none of that matters. Here's the actual numbers. And like I said, now that I'm, I'm a little nervous to try more timing. We can try it at 36, 37. Uh, we may be kind of splitting hairs by then, but, uh, you know, this engine is a 12.71 flat top stroker, uh, with a closed chambered head. So it should be pretty efficient in there, but we can try a little more. I mean, it won't hurt anything. And if it slows down, we'll go backwards, but I got to go backwards anyway to try my nitrous out. So I got some really good data and I'm glad I got to go test and tune on a nice prepped track before No Name Nationals. Well, that was my last uh, test and tune, uh, naturally aspirated before No Name Nationals. I got one more weekend. I can uh, get out and possibly try that nitrous. Um, and you'll have to see those numbers at No Name. So. I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll catch you next time. people.